So joining me to discuss it is Tori Lenhart, Director of Nursing for Home, and Corrine Purinton, a daughter of a patient there. So good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope I had all of that right. Yes. And yes. so thank you for taking your time to come down here. I'm sure you guys are really, really busy, of course. But I want to know a little bit more about what services you offer for home health. Uh, we offer skilled nursing services as well as physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Mm -hmm. And then in some cases, we also offer CNA services for assisting with bathing or things like that if the patient needs it. Okay, so who would be the perfect client, I guess? Uh, you know, there's, uh, I guess there's no picture perfect client. Yeah. However, um, one of the biggest uh, things is just getting discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an exacerbation of a disease such as congestive heart failure, uh, coronary artery disease, uh, diabetes, um, respiratory issues, uh, new to oxygen, um, we can assist with some med management mm -hmm. short term. Um, it's, it's, those, it's those individuals that are going into the clinic very frequently that uh, it's a good chance for us to wrap some extra care around them. So I think one of the first questions that comes to my mind then, does age matter in any way? Could it be someone in their 20s all the way to 80, 90, 100 years old? Yep, we can take children um, all the way, you know, there is no limit for ages. Um, one thing is, you know, the insurance obviously when you're 65 or older, when you're that Medicare age, uh, that is covered by Medicare and then if it's a different insurance, Nine times out of ten, we take it and it covers mm -hmm. it, and um, we just work with the insurance agencies and not, nothing that the individual needs to worry about. Okay, right, and that goes a long way too, especially when insurance is taken yes. care of. Corrine, I'm going to go yep. to you because you are a family member of somebody who's being taken care of right. here. Uh, what is the um, how helpful is it has uh, how to your you and your family? It's been a lifesaver. It's yeah. kept my dad living in an independent apartment. Mm -hmm. um, he was, when you asked her when the services needed, he yeah. was in the nursing home four years ago from uh, back surgery and he had rehab. Mm -hmm. And so when they discharged him, he needed that extra care. And so he's been on that on and off for different issues. You know, he's gone into the hospital, come home and had to have them again. So they've just been awesome to work with. Is this more of like a short term thing for your family or is it long term? What is like the need and maybe how does it suit you? Well it's turned yeah. out to be long term yeah. but it it comes in increments of short term really mm -hmm. because um, when they don't when he doesn't need their help anymore they aren't there but they're just a phone call away when mm -hmm. he does need and of course as he gets older you know yeah. he has issues that pop up and so they they've always been there and so he also gets physical therapy through them and and his therapist has been awesome to work yeah. with too. It's so. a full circle and I see you're smiling as soon as you hear that too. Yes. And so yeah. if somebody's in need, what kind of services can they um, get through health services? Uh, well, if they call our, our office, um, we can kind of guide them as far as what services would be the most appropriate. And then we work directly with the uh, primary care providers to get things set up for them Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you both for coming on here today. Yes. There was a lot to this, and yeah. I'm glad because it's so helpful around, not just around here, but around the state as well. Yes. So Absolutely. thank you, ladies. Thank we you. Appreciate it.